Today, the old courthouse in downtown Evansville will be alive with vendors and more this Saturday and Sunday. Vicki Bolieber is here. She's the promoter of the event. Chris Long is one of the vendors, and I've just really fallen in love with Chris because why? <laughs> Freeze dried apples. Tell me about this. Okay, so for my Long Family Farms, we do local, um, local produce wherever possible, so we try to get our apples and our peaches and things from local orchards, but I do freeze dry them. So it is an apple chip. Um, and then I sweeten it with just a little bit of flavoring, of course, because that's just the because way Because why not? It. Why not? But it is so, <laughs> it's so pleasant. It, thank you. <laughs> now I can't talk, but anyway, it's really, really, really good. How many flavors do you do, Chris? Um, I have four flavors right now of the apple chips, but we also have like fresh strawberries that we freeze dry, banana mm -hmm. chips. Um, and those are kind of nice to have with throwing some yogurt or, you know. Did you just dream this up on your own? I mean, I would have thought, Here, here's what we can do. We can freeze dry everything. <laughs> well, it started with our own garden. We had so much produce and it was like, where do I put all this? I can only can so many things. True. I can only freeze so many things. And what's really nice about freeze dried items is they stay for 25 years as long as they stay sealed. They wouldn't because no, I... Started to say, you, you haven't kept any of these in posh for 25 minutes. <laughs> Our chips go a little faster than that. But that's, that's where it started from. So tell us what else we have here on the product line, So Chris. some of the other products that I do have are our granola. Um, we have a freeze-dried uh, granola. So we have banana nut granola. We have our triple berry granola, some maple bourbon granola, pecan pie granola. Mm -hmm. um, we also have our jams and jellies that we're going to be having at the courthouse as well. Um, those are always great for the holidays. You know, you throw over some cream cheese or you glaze over some turkey or things like that. So those are really good. And then we also have a honey. Um, we have beehives as well on our farm. And she so I everything. have some honey straws as well. And these would, to me, would also be great stocking stuffers if you're putting a basket together yes. for a colleague or friends. Ron, if you're putting a basket together for a colleague, <laughs> you know, think of me. This is so great. And so where will you be at the uh, event? I am going to be on the second floor right off of the rotunda. So okay. I'll Actually, it's the first floor. It's considered first, the first floor. floor. Right. Well, you got to go up the steps to get there, <laughs> she right? Moved, she I moved. moved. I just floor. moved. You graduated. Yes, yeah, so, I did. Vicki, when is it and uh, how do we get week? our tickets and all that good stuff? Well, it's uh, this weekend. Uh, Saturday and Sunday, 9 to 4 each day. Um, you don't really need a ticket. Just come in. We do charge $1 for admission. Mm -hmm. um, and you can go in and out as many times. So if you buy all kinds of things, you get a stamp and go out. Oh, that's great. Because, you know, if you get your arms full, bring your bags. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. Bring yeah. your shopping yeah. bags. Right. And what's yeah. really nice is all of the vendors there, they all are homemade products. The, this is truly a cottage industry. These are not some commercial items. These are all homemade items. And I think for, for folks who really like to shop and do the unique thing and the local thing, this is the ideal opportunity. And that's kind of been what you've been about forever, Vicki. Forever. I've been doing this for more than 20 years. Right. And you have brought some people <laughs> to the show who really are talented. We're so happy to meet Chris and enjoy your wonderful food. And I know that you're going to be shopping there on Saturday and on Sunday at right. the old courthouse. It's easy to park down there. It is. All the lots you know, the, the businesses aren't open down there, so all the lots are available for parking. And the parking signs don't mean anything no, on the weekend. Yeah. No, we don't. We yeah, don't you don't have to don't. worry about it. Come on down. And you, if you can't get it, you can stop by Posh and Main Street and get these and more. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, it's so nice to meet nice you. Thank you for thank sharing you. your bounty with us. Thank you so much. Good to see you, neighbor. Oh.